a full thickness keratoplasty was done more than a decade ago the eye had a very large astigmatism probably due to eccentric of the graft the major astigmatic meridians were marked on the cornea and the limbus using a special degree gauge axis marker a hydrophobic iol of a large astigmatic correction a toric lens was implanted in the eye to correct the corneal astigmatism a 6 mm tunnel was created on the temporal side a sclero corneal tunnel about 2.5 mm long you can see the horizontal mark at the limbus a drop of powder nitrogen is put just before making the tunnel care is taken that the already compromised endothelial count is not further affected a tiny entry is made to enter to the anterior chamber visco is filled to protect the endothelium the hpmc is the one which protects endothelium maximally tunnel floor entry technique where i take the cystitome not through the length of the tunnel but i perforate the floor of the tunnel to go into the anterior chamber this way there is no overlock effect the tunnel is closed it's not open the only entry into the eye is through through the pin point that i have made while entering the cystitome at the limbus of the tunnel as the chamber is well formed throughout as there are no wrinkles in the cornea that are often seen when you go to the extremes of the tunnel width a comfortable rexus could be created the the tunnel is enlarged to 6 mm it's better to be generous with the tunnel width rather than compromising the endothelium during the nuclear management a one point hydro dissection is done with a special 27 gauge cannula the nucleus is rotated by manually into the anterior chamber without putting any traction on the zonules nucleus is bisected with the shaft of a 26 gauge cannula and is visco expressed from the anterior chamber without any pressure any touch to the endothelium visco is being continuously injected infused into the anterior chamber in front of the nucleus you can see there are no touch to the endothelium at all during this procedure nucleus being soft it uh, was easy to remove a specially created designed wire vect is is used to support the nucleus from behind because of good hydro dissection it's very easy to do a cortical aspiration with a simco cannula the capsule is polished on the post on the on the back of uh, the anterior capsule up to the equator to minimize the risk of uh, the pco formation sub incisional capsule also can be polished using j shaped cannulas note that the hpmc is being injected into the anterior chamber repeatedly so as to protect the endothelium a lens of uh, 14 diopter cylindrical power uh, is implanted this is a hydrophobic lens of a very high uh, cylindrical power manufactured to this patient on a custom basis the uh, lens is placed so that the axis marks on the uh, eye wall coincides with the marks made on the cornea or the limbus it's important to remove uh, every bit of viscoelastic from the anterior chamber from the capsular bag from behind the eye and the eye is pressurized to normal intraocular levels the only tunnel that's made is closed by the uh, fibrin glue 
the eyes kept open done under topical anesthesia. I believe this is the best way to handle a patient with low endothelial count and a high uh, uh, cylindrical power of the cornea. On a hydrophilic platform, I have implanted up to 20 diopters of toric lens, but this is the first time I have implanted a 14 diopter hydrophobic eye well in a high cylindrical patient. Thank you.